another level, yeah. I'm on a whole nother level, huh? AP, I flat out the bezel, yeah. AP, I flat out the bezel, yeah. I'm on a whole nother level, yeah. I'm on a whole nother level, huh? What up, YouTube? It's your boy Tricity. We back at it again. All right, so today I got the Dr. Dre recording set up. Um, so those who don't know, Dr. Dre likes the SSL 4000G. And I'm going to show you all how I set this uh, template up. All right. So I'm going to start right here with my record track. Understand these effects are being printed onto the vocals. So if you don't want them to print, you can move these around to the vocal bus and or and make sure you just put this on external input only. All right. But I put mine on post effects because I don't mind printing. All right. So now this isn't a Waves plugin, but you don't have to have this. But they said Dre likes the Sony C800 going into a Neve into the DBX 160. So we have a Neve here. And then you have the DBX 160 right here, Waves plugin. And it's just only going to do uh, not too much compression. I, I probably like maybe like five at the most to be right here at this line. All right. And then he likes to put all his vocals to tape. So we have the Kramer tape right here. All right. So that's that. And then we come down here to the SSLG. So I had the gate turned on right here because you're going to get a little bit of background noise. I'll have a roll off at 90. Then a boost, of like a 0.7 boost at 1600 because this is going in. So we don't want to really do too much on this. All right. And that's really it. Um, and then if you're somebody who needs tune, got waves tune here. And then we have the NLS channel on all of the tracks uh, to give the behavior of different channels in the console. And we have it on Spike because he had the 4000G. And I also have groups here. Now, this is, I don't have this one on a group because I want this to be separate. But you have like your beat have the vocals right here and then you got the vocal bus excuse me then you have the effects and then you have the effects bus all right so um and i'll show y'all that more in depth when we get to the master channel all right and then as you can see across all the channels ssl and the nls channel nothing crazy all right and then i'm gonna come here to the beat same thing Right here at the beat, same thing. But the beat effects right here is different. Um, we have this in a filter effect. So we have a roll off up to 3K. And then we have a, um, a cut by negative 17 dB at 1.5K to give the underwater effect. All right, and that's pretty much it with that. Then we get to the vocal bus again. A DSer, SSLG channel, and the NLS channel. All right, so we have roll off 127 and, you know, just standards, just little cuts of frequencies that I didn't like. All right, and then we, we are using the compressor a little bit. I'll show you all that when, when the song comes on. All right, then from there, we have reverb, just our verb, H delay, quarter note delay. Then we have a slap, just a 16. All right. And then you have your effects bus. So I have this turned off so you guys don't hear it yet. But um, yeah, so we just have center to take the middle, um, uh, imager, and then we have the SSLG channel, NLS channel. All right, and then right here, you got the Vox sum. So we have it going, the vocals going into another console. All right, and you just, you know, so you have three forms of eq and compression to go through all right so you can either do it directly on the channel on the bus or on the song channel all right and now we get to the master this is where the magic is so we have the nls bus again the channel sslg channel another nls channel and we have the ssl compressor as well as Kramer tape. So it's like we recording the song to tape, all right? We went through all of that. I'm gonna turn the effects on just so y'all can hear. So this is how I sound with the effects. Yeah. 
Just as simple as that, man. So, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit me up if you want the template. I'm out.